Hey everybody, welcome back. New weekly. Same me. I have gotten the 10 piece on this weekly, uh, on stream. I played for like an hour. Let me show you. Hall of Fame. It was, uh, it's an interesting weekly so far. It was kind of a shooter team. I've had some fun runs. Seal seems decent. There seems to be decent foods. It seems like some of the early game units, you can actually scale them and then focus on maybe, like, in the late game, uh, that unit will have enough stats to stick around. You don't immediately have to sell them for a tier 5 just to lose to Billy Billy or empty the cup anyway. By the way, I know you're wondering, when are Billy Billy and empty the cup gonna return? I've got some great news for you. Hey, hold on. Let me be like a... a a desperate soup or something like that. I was scared that on this one we were gonna... Oh, I won, actually. People have been running early eggs, which do two damage to uh, the opposition before you get a chance to attack. I am gonna buy you, but I gotta, I gotta find a better recipient for the other stat. That's why I saved the egg myself. Copy faint ability. Any faint units on level one? No, which makes the inclusion of the Frilled Dragon pretty annoying. You've got a faint ability. Okay, I don't think the Aardvark is the way to go, even if it is a 3-3. Might sound a little crazy. I'm honestly going to purchase uh, an egg of my own. We're probably not going to get a level, so we're a little bit off kilter with our actual, like, um... Well, fair enough. <laughs> we still won somehow, even with the three squad. We're a little out of sync with our normal tempo here for when we would want to level up, but it seems like it's okay. Um, for now, if you're sticking around, why don't you take an egg as well? And I don't really respect any of those units, quite frankly. I do, I think I would say I respect the double dromedary and then almost thinking about creating like a, like a back to lizard here. Remember the lizard, if it is non-lethally hit. Well, great minds think alike. Um, it spawns a lizard's tail, as you can see for yourself, right there. I gotta hand it to you, you got me on that one, that's a strong looking team. I feel like the lizard coming out early is, is sensible. I feel like you sell you to make it happen, and then we make sure you're like in position two so you got space to spawn. Uh, something off of it. I was hoping you would buff the lizard. Lizard, more than anything else, needs HP. I think the door head ant could do some stuff. For now, I'm gonna give him, uh, I'm gonna give him a little meat. I think a buff door head ant, considering that it buffs itself again afterwards, like when it moves up, as you can see for yourself right there. Oh, 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 you still got me, but imagine if you didn't. I think we're looking okay here. Look, looking creative, looking interesting. Why don't you go ahead and buff me? Hippo goes crazy this week. I have it under, under good authority. The hippo goes crazy this week. Most sensible play, in my opinion. Buy you. Take your buff. Buy you. Freeze the hippo. Might seem a little bit crazy. But it scales. I'm not going to freeze the door head ant because we need the door head ant to actually... Um, well, we need to make sure the hippo gets the buff. The, the easiest way to scale a unit, I think, with the, the sort of setup that we got right now is via the... Uh, well, two can play this game, kind of. Uh, is via the, uh, the dromedary, which I haven't used at all this week prior to this round, so uh, or prior to this match, so I don't really know what I'm talking about, but... <laughs> It does seem like it's scaling pretty well. And maybe at this point we could sell an otter. Oh, but how are we going to get the buffs going? Because when do the buffing foods come out? Like never? <laughs> not, not till tier 5? You should stay in here. I know it's a little crazy. And I, honestly, just for now, I'm going to spend 3 gold on giving you that. How much health do you have? 4 health for moving up? I'm just gonna give you some garlic. For right, I think the, the name of the game right now is just um, chill out. Simmer yourself. Don't worry too much about, uh, ooh, the value. I'll live with that. Don't worry too, too much about the, the, la the late game yet. Don't worry too much about the long term. Just focus on winning right now. And the hippo eventually pops out and then we're cruising.
Now we can kind of get the best of both worlds, maybe. Like, you got to sell an otter or a fish. We should sell a fish. The otter has some upside. Let's run you at the front. You can stay in position, too. I'm going to buy you just because we can. We could get the double sell. Like, we could sell an otter to get this hippo scaling a little faster. We're two rounds away from chocolate. But then how do you... I guess you could, Who cares about having a hippo up at the front? Like, that's... I think that's totally fine. You'd be getting three health, which would take you to nine, but you're already getting three. Um, I don't really like any of... Uh, any of these moves, maybe on the... On the ant, because it gets so much HP from moving up anyway. I don't know if it'll ever stick around long enough to get to level two, though. So, base stat hippo, I'm not really expecting it to, to go to the moon. It's just here to, well, really, it's just here to, like, absorb a little bit, quite frankly. Oh, I thought we were going to stay in there. It's just here to be a unit. And then, like, hopefully we can level it up to level two at the same time that we pop it out here. It should have some garlic. And then we need some value. It's not going to be there. I don't think it's going to be here. I think it's going to be here. And then next turn, it is going to level up. And we're going to have a pre-garlic on it. And it's going to be... I don't know, it's probably going to be like a 16-17 or something like that. So even if we lose this round, I wouldn't be thrilled. But I'm, I'm not going to cry. Holy cow. Oh, crap. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we threaded the needle with our eggs there. The eggs are falling off. All right, but this is really where the, the run is supposed to come to fruition. So you're actually going to be an 18, a 17-18. We don't really have any other faint abilities. Honestly, the dromedary or the lizard could go. I think we don't need the turtle simply because we're using... Oh, we need the lionfish. The lionfish would hit here. And then... A crocodile to snipe some backline units. Sell the lizard, run a crocodile to counter enemy lionfish. I feel like we got a good squad, man. And eventually we can maybe get like a tiger to, to augment our existing hippo. I mean, this just keeps getting better. <laughs> hey, empty the cup. You didn't think about the double dromedary triple hippo stat, did you? You didn't think about the double dromedary triple hippo. Well, 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 I bet you feel silly right now. One of those. Sell my lizard. Doesn't really matter where we fit you, I think. I mean, I guess I would... For the time being, I would, like, freeze it. Well, you know, here's the deal. You move into the back and then moving back to the front. Maybe there's something to this. I think you could be, like, a, you could be like a fourth-line center on a Stanley Cup winning squad. I'm not even sweating the lionfish, man. Because I looked at the rest of your squad and said, it ain't worth sweating. Hey, Billy Billy XP 111. Nice to see you on another weekly. Does this one not play to your strengths? I'm sorry to hear that. Fly's not really what we're looking for. Hippo, of course. I would freeze an avocado just to see what you get on the reroll. Nothing special, I think. Then I'm just going to save the money for next time. Because we're really, like, basically we spend three gold to get three gold. And it gives us a free reroll. Because when you get a new shop, it's it's free. Like, after a round is over. So we're basically getting, like, a free reroll for chocolate in particular, I think. But the hippo's going, going crazy mode here. I told you, everybody said I was washed. Yeah? Well, wash this. We haven't gotten 10 wins yet, but I'm just saying it, it's looking pretty good. I think tomato could go kind of crazy. Let's try a tomato on, on you. Even got the buff out of the dromedary. I know you're probably saying, like, what's the dromedary even doing? It's a great question that I don't have an answer for. I, I think I'm going to go crocodile first. I would love the lionfish to, to level, honestly. And, and another hippo, and then maybe more chocolate next time. I'm hoping that scaling is a little weak, and the two backline units are both going down. Well, they got two of mine. I did not get... Oh, my God, they're smarter than me. <laughs> Did they steal my... They stole my freaking tomato, too? Okay, that's really smart. Well done. More power to you. I think we need that. Okay, and then chocolate? Well, nevertheless, 
not really necessary. This is very necessary. I deserve to get put back into my place for having a little bit of hubris towards, um, towards Billy Billy. Oh no, it's like a, what is this? What is this, man? What is this, Reggie? F double, was it double fly or double turkey? It was double turkey. No, we're still toasted. I deserve this. The shame is washing over me and I'm saying, I'm not fighting the feeling. I'm saying, you know what? I deserve that for being so flippant with my words towards Billy Billy and empty the cup earlier. Fair enough. We are gonna buy you. I'd like to have a unit with more than one HP first though. Okay, if that's not gonna happen, we're gonna go crazy mode. Worst part about this, it's all bad. <laughs> the worst part about it is so many people run eggs on the squad. Uh, I'll be like a nasty sardine. Saucy sardine's pretty good too. Um, so many people run eggs that it's like, yep, yep, that's fine. That's, I mean, that's we saw the shop, we, we played the shop we got. It might actually be smarter to take your level just so you have a unit that can survive an, an egg shot. Little, little, little. So true, dude. It's actually so true. Um, okay, I know this is going to seem a little crazy. Please do not buff. Thank you. I was going to say, please do not buff the goldfish. Because I don't know if it's got a long-term future when we got like no buy sell ability. We're definitely in a, a really bad position. We're only going to have 4 HP. And what's the upside? There is no upside, Pippin. Well, actually, okay, the upside is we just got a nice level up that was a little cheaper. And I actually feel like this is a, essentially a one-cost unit, which is good enough to be thankful for. And then we got a... We got a Dolphin, which is just a great Tier 3. And the Bluebird uh, buffs have gone to the right units so far, so I, I'm very appreciative of that. Now, I don't know if we got the if we got the sauce. If we do, I'm acknowledging there was a little luck involved here, and I'm, I'm thankful for it. And look at that, that one gold. That one gold saved us, maybe. Maybe it's a sell and, like, forget a lizard right now? I said forget it. I don't really want a croissant. I want cucumber. That's not till next round, but... Okay, how about you take... Well, you're mo most likely to stick around. And then you're also going to stick around and there's no pineapple, so I'm going to give you some meat. At least they're going to stick around for now. Long term, who knows? That second bird freaking killed me, dude. I don't have any faint abilities, right? None faint abilities. No! Oh, the egg gets so hard countered by the lizard, and yet we draw. Okay. I don't want it. You have no reason to exist anymore. I'm basically just going to downgrade your stats a little bit to take a swan. I really don't see a meerkat, man. Start of battle, give adjacent friends plus one attack for every three gold spent this turn. We really need like a defensive meerkat more than anything else. And normally I like woodpecker, but there's no pineapple this week. Let's run this. This and this. Listen, the squad's a bit basic, but it is what it is. And actually, I'm like, I don't know who gets buffed, but somebody should get garlic next turn. Probably makes sense to just buff the unit with the most stats. There's no buffalo or anything like that, but still, okay, very smartly well played. And, and look, we've gone and done it again, kind of. Never mind, I am chilling. Hello again, Skywave. You think I forgot about you? Best of luck to you in this weekly. You did very well last week. I'd like to say best of luck to you in this weekly. No hard feelings. I will take my free reroll. That costs three gold. And I would love a second swan. I don't think we freeze an avocado. That kind of like, it, it defeats the purpose. And we want our enemy to be defeated by the porpoise, if possible. That's the big thing right here. Feeling good? The hippos are not online yet. There is still hope. Man, it feels like last week, no matter what I did, every run was horrendous. 
<laughs> this week, ooh. This week, I'm like, man, even when I don't get dream shops, everything's going real nicely. Go ahead. I guess we would, we'd like to see a level up. And you know what? Why not while we're here? I think we could rework this whole run in the image of a vulture. Not worry so much about your giraffe. I, I appreciate the stats, but maybe try to run like a, like a, a vulture spawning. Basically just like a pure scumbag team. We are going to lose this one, and that's fine. We, we, we were due, I'd say. And then, like, sell me, buy me. Sell me. Now that I know the waffles in it, I'm like, man, I, I don't really want to sell my otter. I'd rather sell the dolphin. And then, honestly, why don't you take a banana as well, and we'll just rework the squad order. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put a B out here. It's like every every two friends. One, two, three, four, five, six. This doesn't give us anything. It it puts us closer to another trigger, but it doesn't give us another trigger. I love it. We don't I don't think we need it. I'm just being honest. I don't know if this squad's got it yet, but I should keep in mind also I, I would sell a uh, a dolphin for like a parrot or something. In a, in a heartbeat, I think. I'm living. I'm living for it. We're, we're shooting. What a shot. You're still killing me pretty good. I gotta go. Okay, we got the lionfish, though. Looking okay. Now, the vulture is very weak. It, our team loses if we encounter a crocodile, which is a pretty popular uh, unit in the meta. Yeah, well, I should have sold first. Because, like, now I'm thinking maybe a, a turkey vulture? At least for a minute. And I am, do you, how all in do you go? I guess I'll just put, I'll put you down right here. Ooh, that's pretty nice. We still have our otter too. I would say I'm not like 100% sold on how this is looking right now, but it's, it's certainly, oh, my vulture. <laughs> certainly interesting. I don't think it's going to do too well against, uh, well, I, I mean, you can see it for yourself. I think we're lucky we got a draw. The vulture, with the vulture though, that's an easy win. And there are one-ups this week. Ostrich, gain one attack and one health for each tier five pet or higher in the shop. Sell me. Ostrich me. I'm going to be a believer here. Buff me for each tier five or greater in the shop. There's no tier five or greaters in the shop. Well, no, there's one if we do it like this. Oh, now there's two. I should just keep these frozen, though. I actually think, like... So we're straddling a few different archetypes right now, which is usually dangerous. I feel like if the ostrich hits uh, level two... Right, right, order. Um, it's not completely unreasonable to think that we might be able to squeeze a 50-50 out. Hello, empty the cup. Nice to see you. Like, am I willing to dump you to go onto a vulture team? I don't really know. I don't really know how I'm setting this up. I feel like for now... I think it's time for you to be sold. I just don't think of... Like, I don't think we can be that attached to a 1511. And I think, run it like this just for now. But I don't think it pays to be that attached to a 15-11. To a you should be unfrozen. You should be unfrozen. Because the stats are just not that good in general. We should dump it for something that maybe gets, it makes our ostrich better, makes our turkey better. Maybe, maybe take a shot at the turkey back there. Maybe take a shot at that turkey order. <laughs> shot the bus. Okay, that's not right. That's not right. This is horrendous. Okay, finally, finally. It's not going to be enough, but I, I appreciate it's the thought that counts. Are we really on four wins? Like I said, no matter what I do, it just seems to work. Okay, good, good. Now I'm realizing the squad does not work the way we thought it did. The turkey has to go. Run a second vulture. I mean, how big of a scumbag do you want to be? But you got to... <laughs> you're spitting out a monkey for no reason. 
But I can't, there's no other place. Well, you got to get sold then. Yeah, yeah. But then I still don't have a place to, because I, <laughs> maybe it's okay to lose a single monkey to be the world's biggest hater. What do you think? It's a pretty nice roll. We can always combine you next turn too. Okay, unfreeze me, unfreeze me, unfreeze me, freeze me. One up on our on our vulture if we are lucky enough to live through this round. Certainly some garlic on an ostrich would go a long way too. Wait, we're losing two animals due to our stupid order. My vultures are freaking dead. But wait, now my rooster can actually spit out all the roosters, dude. <laughs> or all the chicks. Let's go. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. Level two. One of these. Could always throw a boar out there for sure. Holy cow. You need to be moved back. That's the thing. We can't really run like tiger ostrich, right? Like this is a great thing for our ostrich, but you need to, you actually need to be one further back, but I'll accept you being right here is like the best we can get basically. Cause I can't move you back further unless, well, you know, you know, you know what you could do? You can move you back one. So everything fits and then run a crocodile in its stead. And it's like, we're basically giving up two spaces to create a level two crocodile and hoping that the, uh, the rest of our squad can keep us in this. So it's a, a pretty big what if, but they got their vulture in the middle position. It's interesting, the vulture. And then this is where it, oh, this is where it's all supposed to come together, not where it's all supposed to fall apart. Okay, it all came together. Barely, but it did. Not 100% sewled on the snake here. You're gonna come back as a 1-1. One, one. I'm just trying to think. <laughs> so you replace the monkey. The rooster would come back as a 1-1. One, one. It comes back at the front. Otherwise, this would be like, this would be pretty sweet. If we could get other spawners, I think like a 1-up and popcorn makes a lot of sense. Now you're almost maxed anyway. I don't really feel the need to to freeze anything. I would still, I mean, if you could hit level three, I'd be pretty stoked. We got a one up. Oh, wait, well, one excess gold. Okay, now I'll freeze something, because I mean, I might be stupid, but I, I don't think I'm that stupid. I'm gonna be almost maxed. I mean, I still think we might tap out at six here, but it's not a bad performance. It's just, uh, and it's, it's not over yet is the other thing too. I guess I shouldn't be acting like it's over. Like we just, we won this round like handily. Now we're gonna have a level three vulture that can't be killed by a single crocodile shot. And then it's like, what do you put as a, what do you put the one up on? A level two pair. I mean, I guess while we're here, sure. It does improve our squad overall. Now let me see, one, two, three, four. And then it actually takes us to eight. So a one-up doesn't do anything for us just yet. You know what would go crazy here? Selling the crocodile. <laughs> this is so bad. This is not smart. But then adding a second rooster, uh, causing the entire squad to plummet into uh, absurdity, I would say is a pretty good way to describe it. But if it works, we're going to look like a freaking genius. This is the part. This I lived. This is the part where we start looking like a freaking no. That's all right. I've got another freaking no. It's three tomatoes. Four tomatoes. You stream sniper. Note to self: Orangutan team kind of goes crazy, huh? I'll still. I had a fun time with it, regardless. I think this weekly feels a little bit more dynamic for now. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. You did click the like button, helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.